each BDI engagement is different because we're going to produce an exact result, but it depends on what's going on at that particular time with the business owner, or with the business. In the case of TNT, um, Mr. Silva is, is transitioning because the organization is now going from, and, and you have to understand, it is now the, considered the largest. And here's the thing that I really had to handle Mr. Silva on. I said, Mr. Silva, you know, we're already considered the best. So where do we go from here? Because we can't compare ourselves. The only thing that we can compare ourselves to is us. And that is the focus that I've had Mr. Silva focusing on. You know, and I'm now having Mr. Silver to look. Mr. Silver, are you maximizing who you are? And are you maximizing your capabilities as it relates to this organization? And if you answer no to any one of those questions, we've got a lot of work to do. And that's why we're here today. But Mr. Silver was willing to confront that, be honest with himself, but Mr. Silver is a champion and he's interested in continuing to be one because there's two levels of work. Number one, becoming a champion. Then number two, maintaining yourself as one. And that's where we are now are with Mr. Silva and he's very, very interested in being the best and maintaining being the best for the next 10 to 12 years. We're gonna do it annually now, not even wait four or five years like we did before. We're gonna budget for it and do it every single year as ongoing training for new people and just refreshing the executives and the managers and just keep it going on an annual basis so that we, we, we just keep it fresh. I really pushed him really hard this time. I said, look, we gotta go in and handle. And uh, he allowed me to come in. We did an analysis on the organization. And in the analysis, he was able to spot where he was could have been making additional profits, you know, well into the six figures. So, and then he was also able to assess exactly where the organization was weak and why. And he got the exact answers to his questions, you know, so then he didn't have to guess, he knew. Um, and then I told him, as, as it relates to us as an organization, what steps we could do to attack those particular issues and problems and I showed him what we can guarantee him as a return if we allow to do that. And it was a no-brainer for him. So he allowed us to start and here we are. We're getting into really philosophical stuff almost in, in my level of training with Bernard right now, but it is it is deep and strong and it means a lot. It's down to even from the, from the basic words to, to philosophy. I mean, it is, it is very, um, mind, it opens your mind, it makes you think, and it makes you look at everything different.